Hey guys, Steve here. Today is Sunday, May 31st. Uh, we're about uh, 45 minutes left of May going into June. I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend. Uh, it's been pretty hot here, so um, what better thing to do than to sit indoors in my basement here and uh, make videos. Um, I got a few stuff, some stuff to share with you. Um, some real uh, nice goodies I think that you'll like. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, last week, or last last couple of weeks, I, I've been trying to, over probably about a year, I've been trying to finish my 2011 and 2012 Super Treasure Hunt sets. Um, got tired that I couldn't find them uh, you know, on, uh, at the flea markets or through local trades or whatever. So I just decided to do a little shopping on eBay um, tried to get the best price uh, for the ones that I had that I needed left and I did so so I am first uh, part of this video I'm going to show you my that I did complete my my 2011 2012 super treasure hunt sets so um, I'm gonna just kind of point out the ones that I received in the last couple weeks uh, which were probably about seven or eight supers so I'm glad that I can actually say that, I'm, that I've completed this and I can move on and start finishing up uh, 2015. So here we are, uh, 2011 Super Treasure Hunts. Uh, there are, um, so first of all, I store most of my supers in at least one set in these four pack protectors, pretty nice protectors. Um, they kind of, they basically overlap and they have, you know, as you can see, compartments for four, four cars. Uh, they, it is the standard mainline car size. They don't, you know, they don't fit, uh, like the pop culture or retros. Um, so here we are, the first four. The, the one of, one of the ones I received last week was this 57 Chevy. Very nice piece. I didn't realize until after I got it, uh, and compared to some of my other cars, uh, particularly the color of the card here, you know, so it's darker blue versus the lighter blue with like the others. And it turned out that this was actually an international card. Not a big deal. Uh, I know some people like to uh, collect only U.S. cards. And I actually have a buddy that likes to collect only international cards. But for me, all I really ma matters is uh, collecting that particular piece. So that was one of them. Um, go to the next four. Let's see. Um, I think I had, oh, no, one of the ones I did get last week as well is the 64 Pontiac GTO. Okay. Check my light here. Okay. The next four, um, I think the one that I recently got was this one here, the Corvette Grand Sport. And then the last three <coughs> um, that I picked up, and the one that I got here was the 80 El Camino. Okay, so there you are. There's um, the, my complete carded 2011 Super Treasure Hunts. Jumping over to 2012. Let's see. Um, the one I got last week, a couple weeks ago, is the 70 Camaro Road Racer. Very nice piece. Got a good deal on it, I think. Uh, next set of four, I got the um, 71 Dodge Challenger up here in the right corner. Also a very nice piece. I actually got two of these. I got that one and I got the 67 <coughs> Ford Mustang Coupe. So those two are needed. Next four, um, I actually had all these. I didn't, um, these are, I already had these so um, I didn't replace any of these, so those are the next four. Um, just to point out, just so you know, um, I've only been collecting, um, die, seriously collecting die casts, particularly Hot Wheels and Matchbox, um, for about three years now. And the, my very first Super Treasure Hunt was this one right here. It was a Honda S2000. I found it at a Big Lots. And basically I was going through, if, for those who, uh, who are familiar with Big Lots, um, they actually ship their Hot Wheels in these trays, and I was poking through it, and I came across. I, I first thing that came to me was the fact that it was just the Honda S2000, and I like the Honda S2000, particularly this casting and the color. But I was looking at it really close, and I'm like something doesn't look right. Something why does it look, looks different? 
and that's when I noticed that, uh, and I learned that I had a, I had found my first super treasure hunt. So, uh, I'm very happy that I, not only that I found it, but it's one of my favorite supers um, out of uh, out of a lot of them. So, and then the last three uh, I already had as well. Okay, and I think I actually had to purchase all three of these. I never I never found any one of these in the in the wild. Okay, so there you have it, my 2011 and 2012 Super Treasure Hunt uh, complete carded series. Uh, the next piece I want to share with you, I also found on e uh, eBay. I got a good deal. This is a piece that I really, really wanted. Um, this is, of course, the series Greenlight Series 3 Hitch and Toe. It is the green machine version of the 2014 Ford Interceptor Utility and Small Cargo Trailer. It's a very nice, very cool piece. Um, I don't particularly buy... I don't particularly buy... Um, go out and buy... Um, green machines um, either from from eBay or um, from other people but uh, in this case uh, this is one that I really wanted um, because I do like the hitch and toe pieces I like the color combination of this so very cool piece um, buddy of mine Chris actually found one in the wild um, I tried to actually order the case if you saw my previous videos I tried to order a case um, but to no luck there was no uh, green machine this one is numbered pretty high 6499 okay um, switching back to Hot Wheels um, this one I got this piece I got here is <clears throat> a 2004 treasure hunt and this one I got um, as a Rayak from uh, my buddy Michael McRae from Canada. Uh, thanks Mike. Uh, this is one I did need. This is the 2000 from 2004. It's the Super Smooth. Okay. So I can check that one off the list. The card is in great condition. So, thank you Michael. Um, this particular piece I picked up uh, from Ken. One of the guy who actually um, got me into collecting Hot Wheels about three or four years ago. Well, I've known him a lot longer than that. Um, this is the J.C. Whitney um, Dairy Delivery, so very cool piece. And that'll probably stay in the box. And this piece here I got also from uh, Michael from Canada. This is the Sam Walton, the 1979 Ford. This is actually the first version of um, the Sam Walton truck. And um, I have a loose one somewhere on here. Um, I'll show it to you next time maybe. but. One of the big differences between this one and, of course, the, the the one that everyone's been looking for, is in the back. It actually has a dog in the laying in the back of the um, of this box here, so I think that's pretty cool. I uh, don't know what the story is. I'm sure there's some kind of story about that, and it probably says here, but um, I haven't had a chance to read it. So, but thanks, Michael. Um, thanks for a carded or a box one um, to go along with my loose one. Um, switching gears, those are my Hot Wheels. Switching gears real quick to the Matchbox. Uh, the new, I think this is D and E case, according to my my Matchbox guru friend, Chris. Uh, these are hitting, uh, I found these next four pieces at Target. Um, they kind of hit in Target randomly with Target and Walmart, so they're, if, you have to look. Uh, hopefully we'll see, start seeing more of these, but we'll see. This is one of the newer ones, it's Toyota 4Runner. And I'm not I'm not familiar with the colors, but I think somebody had posted that these are the TRD uh, racing colors. So pretty nice one, better than the last that last Matchbox uh, Forerunner, that gray one. It was kind of ugly. That pretty much peg warmed everywhere. This is my second one. This is the Meter Maid. Kind of cool. The cards all jacked up, so let's go ahead and open that one. Yeah, not too bad. Not uh, too bad of, uh, not that heavy, or not that light, excuse me. Got a little weight. Be interesting to take this down the track. Um, I've already seen a couple customs on on, on the Matchbox uh, pages. This is, uh, I guess technically it's a, it does have four wheels on the bottom. It's got the two in the back and two really small ones close up. Got a cool. Maybe turn it into a golf cart or something like that. Okay. Um, here we go, Ford GT40. Nice car. Um, I, I collect a lot of GT40s. I'll open that one up too. There you go. Pretty nice detail. 
nice and low. Make some adjustments here. There you go. Pretty, pretty uh, standard, straightforward. Nothing fancy. Nice car. Um, oh, let me go ahead and open the Toyota since I plan to open it anyway. The card's all jacked up on that. There you go. I actually like kind of like the chrome interior on this one. See it here. Kind of get it to auto focus. There you go. All right. So there's the Forerunner. Okay. Okay, and the last one I want to share with you. Uh, this is the Bay Brigade. Um, I don't really collect a lot of boats, but I thought this was actually a kind of cool piece. Um, actually, it's got a lot of uh, characteristics of a, you can't tell either a tugboat or a fireboat or Coast Guard, but I thought that was kind of cool. Alright, so this is my Matchbox. And then finally, last four pieces I want to share with you, or really, I'm really excited to share with you. Um, these are some pieces I also got from Michael from Canada. Um, I've seen these before, but um, never actually thought I'd get them, because they are a little pricey. Um, but here we go. Uh, these are Johnny Lightnings. I don't collect a lot of John Johnny Lightnings, other than the ones that I really like as far as castings. But there's four of these. These are the, uh, I guess these are called the Rock Art. Tiny Lightnings, and I have two Guns N' Roses here. Uh, this one is the 77 Oldsmobile Delta 88. He uh, wasn't. I was interested in these, but I wasn't. It wasn't. Um, I didn't. I didn't have to have them. Um, but he was only, you know, getting rid of them as a set. So um, this is the uh, Guns N' Roses User Illusion one. And then the second one here, we have the second Guns N' Roses. This is a, a 71, so 71 Chevy Vega from Appetite of Destruction. Nice piece. Cards are a little jacked up, so maybe I'll open them. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. Anyway, but the last two here, the two that I really wanted from the set, is the Iron Maiden. Um, I, I was a big Iron Maiden fan. I still am. Uh, from, of course, the 80s. And I uh, saw them in a concert a couple times. But uh, I love this. I love the card art. I love the, um, you know... And, and, and as an Iron Maiden fan, it's pretty cool to have. It's the 32 Ford High Boy. It's got great art on the back of Eddie. Kind of, kind of, kind of hard to tell that. That's his Aces High picture. Okay, from Power Slave. And then the last second one, which is a really nice piece. Uh, this is a um, another Iron Maiden piece from the Number of the Beast. It's a 56 Chevy school bus. Um, and if you look closely, it is a White Lightning Chase. So, very cool piece. So, I hope you like that. Um, that's all I have to share with you guys. Um, hope uh, new Hot Wheels coming out soon. We'll see. Um, until then, happy hunting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.